Hello there, and welcome to my first Bionicle fan game Let's Play, The Legend of Matazuto, Fall of the Conqueror. Now, there's a bit of a story behind why I'm doing this, and, and I've never done this before on my channel. The reason is, uh, as you may have noticed if you've followed my channel, I've been uploading a lot of stuff lately, and that's because I'm sort of going through a Bionicle Archives project, in a sense, that I'm going through um, files in my Bionicle Archives that I have on my computer and decided to upload some of the stuff that, well, hasn't seen the light of day in a long time. And while doing that, uh, for example, with the Crazy Chronicle series that I've recently been uploading a lot, on the channel. In addition to that, I found, uh, I discovered some Bionicle games, fan-made Bionicle games that I thought were really good back in the day when I first played them, but they're not really talked about anymore at all. Like this game hasn't seen any sort of, I don't know. I no one has been talking about this game. So I decided, hey, why not make a let's play out of it and sort of put it out there once more. I have more sort of obscure fan games like this in store, but I decided to start with this. The Legend of Matazuto is a... It's a sort of a series made by Siam Productions, and this is the first game of the series. There's two in total only. Uh, but there was There were more in store I think but the third one was never actually published the this game is the best way to describe it is that it's really weird but at the same time it's really good it's a well-made game I really enjoy it the story is really weird though it's um, it's sort of an adapt some kind of an adaptation of the original Bionicle 2001 storyline but with new characters and a very... Yeah, it's inspired by 2001 Bionicle, but it does have a story of its own, as I'm going to show you now. But yeah, I've been talking long enough, so let's get this Let's Play started. Here we are in space. What's going on? Why is this happening? <laughs> this is too much. I can't take this. Just make this nightmare stop! That's all I want. Siam <laughs> Productions, oh yeah. I have a lot of different kinds of memories from this game probably presents it's already beginning to get confusing like what the heck is happening in Takoro in Bionicle the infestation is actually the second game of the uh, of this Matazuto series, so it's kind of funny that it it's mentioned in the first game like that. The Legend of Matazuto, Fall of the Conqueror. Matanui. Gifted with beauty. Ruled by fear. A menacing dictator rules the Matoran with an iron fist. 
How can anyone rebel when they are afraid? Areas are becoming abandoned. The beauty of the island is becoming destroyed. The dictator and his minions must be defeated, or else the island paradise will become a terrifying wasteland. Here we are with the first part of the story, Curse of Nightmares. My dreams have been dark ones. As long as the waters listen to me though, I should still be able to fulfill my destiny. I can still do this, I have to, for the fate of the world. And we are actually playing this game right now. This is so cool. So this game has been made in RPG Maker 2003, it's quite an old program now. Explore your surroundings for a bit. Okay, so we can't save yet, that's a save point right there. I think there's something here. Hmm, there's something under this rock. Received a potion. Our first item. I'm pretty sure that thing's important, but let's see if there's something... Yeah, we're not supposed to go there yet, I think think. Let's see. Oh, poor thing. I wonder what happened to it. How could I have been foolish? This Rahi baited me. And our first battle. Uh, no, we don't need a tutorial. The battle system is also really weird. I found that the best way is to... It says cheat, I don't really know why, because it's actually automatic battle. If Unless that is some kind of cheating, I don't really know. This game has a really advanced... Um, uh, it's a well-made battle system, like it has an own like... Uh, well, you're gonna see it has all kinds of things that were not in... Uh, in the RPG Maker battle system. Water 1, Rahi 0. I'd better go check out that cave. So let's do that. So it's a very interesting uh, menu. It's very different from the standard. Here we can see Gali's equipment. Um, we don't have any masks yet. Skill points are also very interesting. We don't have any yet, but at some point we're gonna be able to upgrade our skills. I wonder if we can save now. No? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, this is how saving works. Uh, so, yep, there were already some save files. They've actually... Uh, games I've played long before, so I don't remember what happened in those. Who are you two? I'm Starlight and this is Starbright, your secret agent sent to end your life. You cannot destroy water, I can feel it, the anger. Your end is near. I assume it was you who sent that Rahi. Yes, what we sent to you was an isle, isle bat. You beat it. Bravo. The creatures here are under our command. We're not going to kill you yet. We're just giving you a warning. Go back to wherever you came from and you will live. As weird as this may sound, I don't remember where I came from. I came from the sea. Then I guess you were born to die. Let's go, Starbright. That was strange. I thought they were Toa. They are Toa. I'm afraid you're on the wrong side, my lady. Matanui is a dangerous place. Your efforts to save this island are futile. In fact, if everybody just followed the rules, there would be no problems. Where, um, I, I just tell me where you are from. We are from another planet, aliens as some may call us. We came here by spaceship which Nakuto himself helped us build. Because M Nakuto has done so much for us, we are all allied with him. 
We help him carry out his goals, no matter what they are. Nakudo? What? Yeah. Your first dungeon. Okay, some information about dungeons. So as you can see, we have already entered the weirdness territory. Weird bouncy thing. So, it's kind of like Bionicle 2001, but absolutely not at the same time, because there's like aliens and different kinds of other Toa. It's a very appealing storyline, don't get me a lot wrong, but it's very strange. And here we have some items. We could also battle these guys, and we have to battle some of them. I'm just gonna put auto battle again. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird, like I was saying earlier, it's a really weird battle system in a sense. It kind of glitches out sometimes, like if they attack you, before you complete your attack, you will just sort of stay in the middle or... <laughs> but despite that, it's a really... It's it's well made. It's At least it's customized and it's not like the basic... Not that there's anything wrong with the basic battle system. Of course, I like that system as well, but... But there's... Yeah, like, I mean, effort has been put behind the creation of this game. We get some weapon points and skill points. So now I... I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to... Okay, there's a... There's a switch over there. I keep accidentally... No, that's probably where we want to go. But yeah, like, not even... <laughs> not even one episode in and we're already, like, in a spaceship. This is truly a, an interesting game. We received another potion, and I think there's something more up there. This is where we have to go. Oh, we can't go in there yet. There's all kinds of different puzzles here. There's some kind of combination that we have to... Okay. It's a very easy... This one was a quite an easy puzzle. And there we have another one. Okay. Please have another potion and another fight. Oh wow, okay. This is weird. We're actually the other way around. Alright. Some experience points, widgets, and another potion. We've got plenty of potions right now, so I think we're gonna heal up before we take the boss that's like oh. We're gaining a lot of experience points. I don't know if, if we can even level up or if it's just... We might not even be able to level up in this game. I don't really remember. We have the gold key. Ah, and we opened the... Okay. That thing's probably... Yep. Alrighty, so... Now that we have the door opened, we might as well go, and I think we're gonna have to face the boss in there. So it's a save point, I think we're gonna save first. It's always a good idea to save. Let me just get rid of these old save files here. Oh. Don't wanna fight anything now before we reach the the end of the dungeon here. Yep. You must be the leader. Yes, I am the father of the Roko tribe. How about we get this over with? Why am I here? Why do you want to kill me? It's the least we can do for Nakuto after the many favors he did for us. We owe him. His motives for your death are not our concern. Who is Nakuto? The Roko mentioned him too. <laughs> Your ultimate destructor. Interesting. And now we have the... No, we don't need a tutorial here. Because we're going to use... Well, we're going to use a potion to start with, actually. Yeah, it's a really... 
we're going against the the alien boss right now. Kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, and there you see her using a skill. So we actually have some skills now. Interestingly, this thing seems to be slower than the the other aliens, even though it's the boss, or then God is just faster here for some reason, because the boy is filling up really fast. But yeah, this is... I remember when I first played this game, and I was taken to this alien ship, I was like, what the heck is going on? Because I was imagining it to be more like the classic radical story, and it's absolutely not that. as you can already see, so I was kind of also a bit skeptical at first, but it has a really interesting, like, alternative personalities, and... Ah, you win this round, Toa. Leave my presence. And we win. My powers haven't been working. If Mokoshama didn't flee... Oh, it was Mok Moko Mokoshama. <laughs> I'm afraid. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we have Gali here crying. Why don't my powers work? Why can't everything be peaceful? Because that's not how the world works. Who said that? Who's there? I am Luca. I'm Toa like you. You've been having nightmares for a thousand years. And as a result, you have become easily frightened. However, the nightmares are over now. You're with me, so there's nothing to be afraid of now. Come on, all the Gamatoran are waiting for your arrival. I'll take you to, to, to Gakoro. As I said, you have nothing to be afraid of anymore. Feeling better, Toe of Water? No. You're not your true self. Those nightmares have torn you apart, and now we have to put you back together. I saw hideous creatures in Gawahi, and I was forced onto their spaceship. They said they were aliens. By definition, they are aliens. They're actually called Roko. The leader of the Roko is named Mokoshama. Come with me. I'll take you to the Gakoro Inn. From what you've told me, it seems like you've had a pretty rough first day. But now you need to put away all your worries and get some sleep. You'll be safe here. Thank you, Luca. No problem. Now rest. Whoa! What is this place? It's amazing! Everything here is so beautiful. Maybe this is the jungle. It sure looks like it. Well, my lady, looks can be deceiving. What? Who said that? You don't know me? It's me, Makuto. I am the son of Makuta. He's the one who wants to kill you. We both do. You're going to die here, Toe of Water. Because of your stubbornness, the rest of your life will consist of what most Matoran couldn't bear to go through. When the time comes, you shall call me a savior. You had another nightmare? I was sure they would end after you escaped the canister. These are different. I saw an Akudo. I... I didn't know he was a Turaga. Just like there are Dark Toa, there are also Dark Turaga. Apparently, Nakuto went into your dreams and poisoned them. You can't let Nakuto or his goons get to you. You and your comrades will beat them someday. I know it. It's still... it's still the middle of the night. Here's a light stone which should help you get back to sleep. It helped me when I was a lot younger. Please try and get some peaceful sleep. So here we have another one of those self-made characters who are not part of the actual storyline. Luca, Etoa. He's a very important character, as you will see in the future episodes. Okay, I'm officially worried now. The nightmares inside that canister must have truly damaged her mind. I hope not, because I don't think it's possible to return her and ask for another. 
I think she's just too stressed. I'm sure a good night's sleep will help her greatly. It's just made things worse as of yet. Whether good or ill, she's still Artoa. She's supposed to, supposed to protect this land, and I know she will. The prophecy said so. <coughs> and whatever the prophecy say goes... <coughs> Sorry, I'm just a little frustrated. She's not how I pictured our toe of water to be. It's not fair to judge an apple that's not ripened just because it's sour. Sometimes patience is required for true results to be revealed. Interesting philosophy. Mine is if li Sorry, mine is if your life gives you lemons, throw them back and demand limes. That's not a very good philosophy. Only those who take things as they are and say they're meant to be. I'll trust you this time, and hopefully you'll turn out to be right. Let's just get some, let's just get some sleep now. Agreed. Ah, <coughs> <sighs> it's about time morning came. I should go talk to Turaka Nakama. And here we are. Once again in control. We can't run inside the house. Okay, now we can run. It's a very nicely done, this village. Dark Toa have been controlling Matanui for a thousand years now. Can you believe it? Gakoro is the only village to be not be taken over. Really? I didn't remember that. From the story at all. There's a Gakoro shop in there. We're not going to go in just yet. It's very nicely done. I, I really like the sprite work for this. As a navigator, it's my job to map out the village and show the fastest way to get to other villages. Interesting. We shall, oops, no, we shall not go to info. We shall save here. Uh, let's save this slot now. What do you have to say, Maku? Are you Maku? Ah, being the Turaga's right hand can be a lot of work sometimes, but I would never give this up. All right. It was Maku, I was right about that. Um, hi. I like how Holly is like, Holly is uh, consistent with her real story personality. Toa, you look so brave. Have you ever met a dark Toa before? Well, kinda? <laughs> Luca has been protecting us the best he could. Maybe now he can take a well-deserved well vacation. Did he, did she laugh? Wow, she did laugh. <laughs> and this is someone's hut. We're not supposed to be here, probably. I do know where we actually have to go. We have to go uh, to Nokama's hut. To get the story going again. Hello, Toe of Water. I am Turaga Nokama. Did you sleep well? Not really. That's unfortunate. Hopefully with time, the nightmares will dis disappear for good. I'm going to show you how to operate the CMS, custom menu system. Yeah, we don't need this information because I... I know quite well how the system works. Not the full extent to it because it has a lot going for it, but... But yeah. <coughs> okay, we're gonna have this information available later too. Would you like to hear the legend of Mata Nui? Um, yes. In the time before time, the island of Mata Nui was a tropical paradise. The villagers, called Matoran, and their elders who lead the villages, the Turaga, lived in peace. That was before the Makuta came. Dark brother of the spirit Mata Nui, the Makuta quickly engulfed the island in evil. Matoran and Turaga inhabitants had almost lost hope in the legends handed down over the years. Legends that told of the coming of six mighty heroes, the Toa, who would free the island of terror. That hero is you, among five others dis destined to defeat the Makuta and awaken Mata Nui. Nakuto is Makuta's assistant and the leader of a league of Dark Toa. Because of Nakuto, the forces of Makuta have forged an alliance with an alien tribe known as the Roko, led by Mokoshama. That is the legend of Mata Nui and Nakuto. Well, that is pretty much all you need to know. Uh, they we have the answer to. Nakuto is quite a mysterious being, as are his minions, but we know that they are all on Makuta's team. If Makuta is defeated, hopefully that will help to get Nakuto and his minions off this island. Turaga, the Roko have returned. Gakoro is under attack. 
Golly, this is Maku, my right hand. Hi, Maku. Is Luke outside? Yes, he's fighting the Rocco. Are you going to help him? Of course. Uh, yeah, now we are actually going to do that. So the Rocco have returned and are causing havoc. Which, which I don't... Oh, okay, okay. They're just shouting if you touch them. I think this is where we should go. Yes. Luca, I'm going to help you. Remember us, Toe of Water? Alright, so let's see. Oh, we weren't even healed even though we slept at the inn. Kind of weird. I think I used the word weird many times in this game. Because that's what it is. But having said that, like, I really like it. Even so far, it's an interesting deviation from the original story while still keeping probably the most essential elements of of the original story in it. We're missing a lot. It's not very nice. Mm. We should probably heal soon. Or maybe not. Maybe we don't need to. They're quite easy enough to beat. Alright. We have one. There sure are a lot. That's being a hero for ya. They don't all want me dead, do they? Pretty much. Message from the s oh, message from the spaceship. Attention, all Rocco. Attention, all Rocco. The spaceship has run out of ammunition. All Rocco must retreat back to the ship. What? No way. This is definitely not over. Gali, you check up on Okama. I'll make sure things are safe out here. Okay, so we're transported back here. She looks like she's been poisoned. While you and Luca were out fighting Rocco, a Nuishama forced its way into the in and poison Nokama. I tried to stop it, but Nuishama are very fierce Rahi. I just wasn't strong enough. Could this have been my fault? I should have been here to protect the Turaga. I failed. There was nothing you could have done. It was either Nokama or the whole village. You made the right choice. Don't mourn though. There is a way to fix this problem. You just need to go into the Nuijaga nest in Gawahi and retrieve a cup containing the water from the magic springs there. The springs bear a powerful healing source to the shaman virus. The Nuijaga use it to protect themselves from the Nuishama. Those two species hate each other with passion. There are often battles between the Nuijaga and the Nuishama. Gather what supplies you may need and head quickly to the Nuijaga nest. I would accompany you, but I want to see for myself your strengths and weaknesses. Mostly strengths. I'll be back as soon as I can. Good luck, Toe of Water. And... okay. Hi, Luca. Um, what are you doing? You just ran into a wall and disappeared. Please hurry, I don't know how much longer the Turaga will last. Well, this is definitely shaping up to be interesting already. For now, I think we're gonna end it off here. Uh, as you can see, a very interesting game. Lots of strange things going on, but very well crafted. I mean, just look at the sprite work and the story is very interesting and uh, unique. It's definitely a fan product. It's not like a, it's not like a copy of the original. So that I guess that's that's really good. But yeah, next time we're gonna go to the Nui Shama Nest, or what is it, Nui Jaga Nest actually, and retrieve the healing waters to save Nakama. But until then. See you guys next time.